guys, I'm the Panda Man, and welcome back to the Panda Den for some more Panda-tastic action. Guys, this deck is by Pocket Train. I watched him the other day when he pulled this deck out, and he was playing it, and I watched him beat Fino, and it was it was hilarious because we had people in the chat who were in both Fino's chat and his, and Fino was raging, like Fino does, uh, and, and it was just really amusing. And in fact, Fino took this deck and continued to stream with it the rest of the day, and they have both done absolutely fantastic fantastic with this deck i am sitting at about a 75 percent win rate with this deck i have been climbing 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 absolutely love it it is fantastic there is a variant by draco cat that i will be trying out for a future video which uses the uh um the watch post but guys hope you enjoy this content stick around to the end there will be a deck summary and a mulligan guide I have learned stuff by watching her. It's, it's just great. She's really, really great. Uh, I still need a setup. I don't think we got our shout out set up for Simon yet. I do not believe it's set up correctly yet. No, I have to fix Simon's shout out. I'm so sorry guys, Simon's awesome. He makes uh, great YouTube content guys. I 100% recommend checking out his content. I will actually get the link real quick and toss it in chat. Let me just grab it and toss it in chat. Dude, no problem. I, I absolutely meant to have it. Alright, okay, I don't have a good. Eh, this is not a bad turn two play for a draw, right? I'll just do this. Normally, I like to attack and then play on turn two, click the hero power, and then play the um, uh, Sigil of Alacrity. So that way, I basically don't lose out on that first turn poke. But this is fine. It's fine. Okay. And draw cards get, get moving in our, our deck did i miss anybody else am i am i a total jerk i think i got everybody <clears throat> the time has come to our all right uh i don't actually feel bad doing flanking maneuvers here um i don't really have anything to grow in my hand but i don't also want to start taking damage either i could just fell barrage actually this feels fine I guess we'll attack. Just some chip damage. I, I kind of like using saving the, the flanking maneuvers if possible for when I have the Artificer or Sire Z Zenathrius in hand. Either one of those is fine. But I mean, there it's part of our infused our, our infused them. <laughs> so. Still hoping to draw. Let's do this. I right, cancel spell. He does have coin, guys. And he has a, Oh, he's coin. Oh, he's used coin. Never mind. Perfect. This will actually get something. No way he's gonna save the ship. <sighs> okay, what do we lose? What do we burn? Flurry. Okay, Flurry's not bad to burn. It's alright. I may just do the Relic of Dimensions just base. I usually don't like to do that. Um, eh. I don't feel like it's bad, though. It draws two cards, reduces their cost by one each. But this also could do good stuff. Let's do this. Let's do good stuff here. Okay, it did not give us that greatest stuff. I wanted a relic, obviously, off of the off the scorpion. Okay. 
Uh, Curdy doesn't feel horrible here. It doesn't feel great. I think Topple feels better. Impressed. I'm just gonna Topple here. Wow, okay. None of that feels great, but... It does what I needed it to do. Oh, kill my baby. That's right, that's why I attacked first. I'm about... Definitely not... I'm feeling a bit better, yes, Max. I'm sorry, yesterday I, w I literally was going up the stairs to the studio and I started to I faint. Uh, and my doctor didn't really seem to take it very seriously. Uh, she said that it was either low blood pressure or dehydration. But if you if you know me about my drinking water, it's definitely not dehydration. Uh, and otherwise, it's... Uh... Can't get more than one charge. Let's do this. Fine. But anyways, uh, it and my blood pressure was 133 over 84 or something. So there's no way that that was uh, I had low blood pressure. So I, I, I'm kind of disappointed the doctor didn't take it seriously. Oh, that's fine. I was worried, man. I was looking at that, like, oh no. I kind of want to play this just to be a jerk and just point out what he missed. <laughs> it's horrible, right? I am going to trade the 5-1. I don't really feel like this is... This may be strange. Or do I just take 10, do 10 to phase and make him deal with it? This will die. Let's do this. I want I want this to die. Plus also leaves a slot open just in case I want to leave a slot open. This... Okay. No guarantee. Uh, I, I, I don't know what it was, Max. I really don't. Boom! I still understand why, understand why people have to be mean. I just don't get it. Or why they want to. It's more, it's not have to. They don't have to. Why they would want to be mean. I just don't understand. I just don't get it. Call me sensitive, but I just don't understand why people want to be mean to other people. Does it, does it really make them feel better about themselves or something? But yeah, but what what's causing it? What's the root cause of that that frustration? Hello, lovely lady. Lovely Springsy brings me drinks. So I asked for a hot grande, and they gave me a cold venti. What's the same thing? She 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 saw her the window. She's like, like she's like, oh, I'm sorry, we made it. We ran out with a grande, but we made it a venti. I'm sorry, do you want us to remake it? I was like, well, it also gets hot. But, uh... <laughs> so they, she asked for a hot grande, guys. I don't know if you can hear this. She asked for a hot grande, but they gave her a, a cold venti. Which, you know, is, is same, same, but different, different, right? <laughs> By the way, Genma hates when Sprinks and I say that. Same, same, but different? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know she didn't like it, it that much. It bugs her because it, it's like... No, it's not the same, same. It's not the same, same! You're like, I know, but it's different. It's same, same, but different. It's same, same, but different. It's good. It's good. I like that better, but it's good. Oh, yeah. I know you like that one better. Did you uh, feed the babies? Because they're yes. screaming at me. Okay, I fed just, them. They're just screaming at me for the sake of screaming. Though. Yeah, I gave They went out. I mean, yeah, for the sake of screaming. Yeah, I gave them dry food. They can't be out unsupervised, and I've got stuff to do up here. Yeah, I, I gave them dry food, is what I gave them. Okay. Kittens screaming. No way. Cats saying they're not that they haven't been fed. It never happens. Sometimes you just have a gamer you have a gamer moment after that all the other gamers had their moments with you. I, I, I but I, I that is perpetuating the cycle a good thing. Like if it's something you don't like, why would you want to, to do that to someone else? Because it just makes... It, it doesn't... You're just paying it forward, but in a negative way. I know I'm kind of preaching to the choir here, but it bothers me. I just want people to be good to each other. 
I know, I know. How dare I? But I, I just want people to be good to each other. Is there any merit? Yeah, it probably is merit in doing this. I, I want people to be their best people they can be. I know. Horrible panda. I think this is maybe better. I don't really want to do this. Actually, if I would have done the fell barrage, this would have been much better. I could have... I don't know. Maybe not. This. I know, I'm a horrible person, Max. I expect people to be good to each other. What am I thinking? The world's just got so much pain already. I just I just I don't see a point in in you know, extending that pain, you know, in any other way, shape, or form. Like, it just doesn't seem, it doesn't make, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't, dude, I haven't charged this at all. I mean, any relic is good relic, right? Any relic, good relic? Does this work? For science. I don't know, guys. Does this actually work? If I push this button, will it trigger the, the extinction twice? I didn't think so. Mm, that's a shame. Any questions? I didn't think it would. I was hopeful. I think I still do it anyway. Just to advance the, the relic thing. Oh wait, I didn't realize it was at two. Oh shit, I didn't realize we'd already cast a relic. We have it. I'm confused. Oh, we did. We did cast a Relic of Extinction earlier. Oh, I forgot. This is a cool card. This is really is a cool card. I mean, that is probably the best I've seen that ever work. I, mean, I can't, can't deny. All right, I'm gonna try toppling here and hoping I get something just really nutty. Which means... I'm gonna, I am gonna attack here just in case I only get like a five. Like if I, if I get a topple off of this or something. I don't know. Okay, well we were fine. We were fine, but we didn't know we were fine. And I, that's the thing. We were not aware that we were fine. So now we are. Yeah, I, I don't understand why it doesn't really work. I mean, I do. Okay, look, I, I get it. But I really think with Zymox, this should work with the first charge. Though, honestly, I think uh, the, something they should do for Relic, and I guess is they're not gonna because this deck is doing fantastically well, uh, is I would have made this three charges. So that theoretically you could nest double cast all of the Relics that you get during a game. I personally would have liked that. Okay, can't stop this. What has this got on it? Oh yeah, that is annoying. Balls. We're just gonna kill this off and, and then swing, swing one here. I should have attacked first, honestly. Oh, there we go. Fear my It's fine. It's fine. Like, I, I would honestly, I, I used to think that, yeah, if you made this where it would work at least on the very first one that Artificer's Eye Mox plays, like the very first relic it chooses of the three. 
this would be, would be would be pretty cool. Uh, but honestly, I just think that they're making this three, but it's not necessary. Obviously, I'm, I'm 70% on this on this computer. I'm 70% win rate with it. Okay, I can't really complain, right? I mean, I can complain, but it doesn't do any good. Is there any universe where I should um, do this on this? I don't feel like I've got a good play here. It feels bad, but I think it, I think it was kind of necessary, unfortunately. Okay. Okay. Not taunt, taunt. Okay, good. So I can kill this now. Okay. Um. I'll give Sir Finley. He's got nothing in his hands. Please give me give him Sir Finley. You know, I kind of like this. Have Sir Finley, sir! Pick me, pick me. I'm gonna trade here. Not my goal. Oh, cancel. Sorry. Almost goofed yet again. I think it is stop this madness. Nah, we go face, right? At this point, we just go face. I don't think there's really. I will kill this. Oh, I could have pumped it again. Eh. No, I know, I know. No, no, you're right. This. Oh my god, I didn't even realize how beautiful that is. That is a hell of an upgrade off a two-two life steal. I think I'll take that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I feel like we're in a good spot, guys. I feel like we're in a really good spot. We have 27 damage on board. Are you attacking the 7-7? Seven, seven? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, okay. I was, I was confused there. I was confused there. I'm not gonna lie. I was confused. Are right, we just gonna do this turn? Do I need to kill this stuff off? Probably do before he evolves it, right? I can't kill this. But I can kill that. Confused? Good. I may also topple this turn, honestly. I think I do topple. Because I need to stop him from something. Yeah, I, I want to go something small. We'll go this. This is good. I feel like this is a win. Uh, am I missing something? Or is this this just a win? This draws me three cards. This guy gives me another 8-8. Eight, eight. I don't think he has an answer. Yeah, I don't think there's a... I don't think this is bad at all. Okay, I mean, okay, Toppa would have been nice there, but... I don't think I care. Wait. This just might kill him. This still just might kill him. Oh, wait, I... I... I'm just gonna do it anyway. And again, we don't care. Yep, well played. It could have killed him on its own. It, that's how good that was.
Apparently, Sire likes to be, like, edged a little bit. Alright, uh, is there any reason to keep the Sire Denathrius? I don't think I want to keep the... Wait, against Druid, I might want to keep Topple. If he's aggro, this is really, really good. I don't know about Sire, though. I really don't think I want it. I think I want to toss it back. But Topple is very good against, uh, aggro. <clears throat> okay, not... The best draw? I'm still sad that Alex Straza is I can't figure out a cut for Alex Straza. Because if I get cut if I get I can't I don't have a golden Alex yet. It's one of the few cards I don't have in gold. Uh and I can't craft it. So I, I feel bad, like I want uh I want Alex I, I I'm one card off from having all golden. I'm just gonna Felbarasher. Again, as long as I keep him down, right? And I mean, shit, on, on four, I can topple, which will kill whatever he, he plays as well. We just gotta keep his board low. But I mean, we got Relic next turn into Extinction, which is just about as good as a Fel Barrage. Why do you keep moving, little icon? You gotta be little icon! You moved as well. You're not supposed to move. Let's move you over here. And you should be here. I, I definitely, I, I think we just keep annoying him. <laughs> sure, let's just trigger it, it's fine. It feels a waste, but it kills everything. And advances the relic thing. I, I, I'll wait until I can cast this twice as well. I'm probably Theo next turn or Okani. Okani is not bad. Let's see if he develops a board, then I can stop a spell. If he doesn't, then I play I play the Akani to stop a creature. Yeah, I'm gonna stop a creature here. Because he's aggro, this is really, this is disgusting. Like, if he had a board, then you want to stop spell, and if you have a creature, I mean, he doesn't make a board, you want to stop creature. That's game, yeah. All right, all right. That's, that's just how you deal with an aggro. You get an aggro druid, just make sure they don't have a board, ever. Against Warlock, I don't think I need Topple. I don't think any extinction is that great, but we we want to definitely advance. Even if I use this, just if he's playing Imp, this is good. I guess I should kept the Topple against an Imp deck. Hey Lang, how's it going, buddy? I am feeling about fifty percent, buddy. But thank you. I'm glad you're here. It it makes me feel better that you're here. It's just sort of a low energy stream day to day for me. Let's play this. Uh, probably use this on this next turn. On the Relic of Phantasms. Mike, hey, how's it going? Guys, Mike is sure here is a fantastic streamer. He, he's been doing, he plays some Hearthstone League, but he also does, I've been watching him play World of Warcraft. Now I warn you, I, I sent you that link, guys. You see the link to his thing, but it's a trap. Do I Relic of Extinction this? I don't think I do. I think I, I think there's Phantasms here. I think this is the answer. Wait, do is this the answer or is this the answer? It's gonna make a bunch of babies, right? Wait, no. Yeah. Mm. Cause this is gonna trigger four times. Three times. He's gonna make three one one babies. I think this is the way. Corn beef? Oh, that's nice. Wait, I don't know what Yorkshire style is. Let me look.
Oh, is it like a breakfast thing? Alright, so I can go ahead and clear this. And then do Relic Extinction. Oh, that's sad. Alright, I'm gonna kill this. Feels bad? Feels really bad. It's okay. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. That sounds good to me. I'm sorry, every time, when you play the Venomous Scorpion, you're almost always going to grab whatever relic it offers you. That's kind of where you want to be at. If you guys are already questioning about that, your decision, generally the relic is going to be the answer. Generally, the relic is going to be the answer. Did I mention generally it's going to be the answer? <laughs> If I relic here, I, I do develop a tire board, right? That's just four minions. Is there anything to do with this guy? Is there any reason I should be dealing with this guy first? I mean, he's an imp. I don't really, I don't really, I do, I don't really want him to have an imp. Uh, I think I trade. I'm gonna take four damage here. I'm actually gonna eat four. Just a stretch. I'm in a relic of phantasms to make a huge board. And I'm going to play the sig Sigil of Lacquer to draw more cards. Uh, no, this is Pocket Trains. I mean, Warshack may have played it, but Pocket Train played this. And then Pocket Train beat the crap out of Fino. I was watching Pocket Train do it. And Fino basically streamed it all the rest of the day. This is... I, I'm, I'm at 75% win rate with this, Lang. It, it's good. It's really good. Okay. I mean, I could play this this turn, but I don't have the space for it. So, uh, we trade... This dies, for sure. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and just do Relic of Dimensions, I think. Okay, not the best one. That's fantastic. How about I just Relic Dimensions again? Okay. Feels good. We'll play this. Uh, I want to cancel Minion. If I thought this was the control lock version, I would have gone spell. This is fine. 100% fine. Do I have lethal here? I've got, tw yeah, I've got lethal here. It's fine. That's not bad. That's not bad, ladies and gents. Woo, baby. Feeling good. Feeling really good. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this content. This deck, I absolutely feel, is 100% is strong. It doesn't really have a weak opponent. In fact, I, somebody mentioned to me at one point, they're like, you know, about Quest Priest. Uh, I have beaten every single Quest Priest I've come up against. 100% win rate against Quest Priest. 100% win rate against Shaman. This deck is just feels good. It feels very, very strong. Uh, actually, no. I did lose one against a Shaman uh, because Sire Denathrius decided to fail me. Uh, but you know something? That's fine. That's fine, Sire. Just fail me like that. 
But anyways, this deck is, is absolutely fire. I absolutely love it. The Mulligan Guide is pretty simple. Essentially, in the early game, you are looking to do Relic Love. You're playing, you are you are loving the Relic. You are, you are making love to the Relic. You are, you're taking it out. You're giving it a fine dinner, a little bit of wine. Throw some little, some flower petals on the bed. And you're like, hey, baby, I'm going to put some berry white on it. I'm going to make some sweet, sweet love to you. And that's really what you're doing with the Relics. So even with the Relic of Extinction, even if you don't get a lot of value, if you can get this early in the game, you play it, it will advance your other Relics because the most too important, this is the the least important of the relic unless you're facing something like aggro druid or anything that's got a lot of baby minions i did come up against a guy who was who was playing uh a uh, a rogue pirate deck and i was really impressed he did really well still lost but um this deck this this card is very good against any kind of aggro matchup especially early on so you want to keep the relic of extinctions you're going to keep uh, the relic vault 100 percent of the time uh outside of that uh relic of dimensions does feel okay to keep and of course, you got Relic of the Phantasms. So essentially what you're trying to do is you want to try to use, if possible, you want to use the Relic Vault on your Relic of Phantasms, especially because you're basically going to produce in, at, at the beginning, you're on the onset, it's just two one ones and two two twos. That doesn't sound like much, but that early in the game, on turn three, when you can potentially do this, that's pretty devastating. Then you take on top of that, uh, Relic of Dimensions is also fantastic to play with the Relic Vault. However, I do highly recommend you be careful. I have made the mistake of overdrawing because i miscalculated you want to make sure that when you play the relic of dimensions it is your seventh card in hand uh because i'm going to be honest if you've played any other relics earlier in the game and, and i'm talking about if you're using the relic vault uh the discounts on some of those cards will almost guarantee you that you will be able to play something from the draw so you even though you'll go to 10 cards you can generally play something you drew therefore you'll be back to where you won't burn a card uh, so just make sure that your your card count in your hand is seven if you're going to do a Relic Vault, Relic of Dimensions play. Outside of that, you're looking at things. You've got two things in here that you are basically wanting to infuse. Uh, I rarely want to keep Sired and Athreus or Artificer Zymox in my opening hand. There are exceptions to this, uh, but you'll have to figure those out kind of on your own. It, just when a deck feels like it's okay to do so, uh, it, you can kind of do it. But the point of the matter is... Uh, you do want to get those in your hand uh, before you start really doing things such as uh, the um, flanking maneuvers. You've got one flanking maneuver in here to basically draw, uh, to get the, the, to feed these guys. Also, it's some removal tools. I've honestly been considering taking the flanking maneuver out and possibly running a starfish. Despite its cost increase, there are instances where the starfish would be really nice. But again, it does multiple things. Uh, again, as I mentioned, Sardanathrius, Zymox. Zymox more important than Sardanathrius. Zyra and Athreus is fantastic for a closer if you manage to get it infused using your Relics of Phantasms and stuff like that. That's fantastic. But honestly, Zyra and Athreus, I often use as a more of a board stabilizer. I have won games with it, but there's there's many times when I've even just played Zyra and Athreus and a brand, basically, that I pulled off the Relic of Dimensions, so they're discounted. So I play them the same turn and basically just neutralize their board and heal myself up back to a respectable amount that they can't easily remove me. At that point, I've still got a 10-10 lifesteal on the board and do they ignore the 10 10 lifesteal um to kill your brand so they've got to decide what is more important i mean sometimes they can remove both sure but often this is enough of a threat that they have to pay attention to it they might ignore your brand which can let you come back with a school teacher turn or you can play even uh an artifice of zymox which i've yet to be able to pull off i've yet to do a brand zymox i keep waiting to do it i keep waiting it will happen but anyways, this deck is pretty, really, really pretty good. Uh, you're essentially that's based on the whole concept. Now, uh, one th other thing I want to mention is whenever you're playing the Venomous Scorpion, nine times out of ten, you are looking for any word that any card that says Relic in it. So if you see a Relic of Extinction, you see a Relic of Phantasms, you see a Relic of Dimensions, just grab it. It's almost it's there's rarely going to be an instance where another card is going to be more valuable. Now you do need to pay attention to what your your opponent has on board. There might be an instance where a Fel Barrage is actually more viable than say like a relic of dimensions now generally that late in the game when you're playing a venomous scorpion probably the relic of extinction is almost as good as a fell barrage if not better so just keep that in mind uh this deck is just is a lot of fun uh, guys i hope you enoy it if you like it the deck code is below in the description uh i'll also try to put a, put a description or a link to pocket trains uh twitch on uh, yes his twitch channel <laughs> guys check him out he's a fantastic streamer a lot of fun to watch uh, outside of that, uh, what else do I recommend? Oh yeah, uh, if you, while you're there, hit us with subscribe. It's absolutely free for you. Helps us out at Fantastic Gaming so very much, and we absolutely appreciate it. Also, hit us with a like if you like this content so we know we're doing the right things. Also, leave comments if you play this deck. 
and you're doing fantastically well with it, leave those those results below in, in the comments. Uh, if you're doing poorly with it, leave those little comments below. I'll see if I can help you out. Also, if you play any variants of this deck, if you're playing the Draco Cat with the, with the, the watch posts in it, let me know how is that performing better or worse than this. I really am curious. I read all those comments. I absolutely appreciate them. But hey guys, remember the most important thing. I, I'm sure this deck will get you to climb ladder. You can get legend with this. Easy peasy bacon squeezies. This deck will get you to super high legend if you're already legend. You just got to stick with it and learn how to play it, how to pilot it well. But guys, remember the most important thing over climbing, over anything in Hearthstone, in gaming, in life. Stay positive. Stay <laughs> positive.